so I just want to talk about something that keeps happening with these coronavirus data videos I keep making. So as a brief summary, I'm Carrie, and I have this YouTube channel called Abacaba where I post data visualizations about a wide range of topics. So I've had this for about five, six years, and I make videos about everything from baby names to Twitter accounts to YouTube videos, Wikipedia articles, um, demographics of Qatar, Qatar um, pop songs, and so on. But over the last few months, because so many people are um, interested to know how the COVID-19 pandemic is going, that's where most of the traffic for this channel has been going as well. So because people keep requesting me to make more videos about coronavirus, I do. And I keep all the data that I collect on this spreadsheet. And so you can see on this spreadsheet, I have, I think, 13 diseases or epidemics and the data collected from them each day over time. And it took me quite a while to collect these because the data on a lot of these um, epidemics is extremely sparse. So you have to um, choose the right interpolation methods to make sure you have numbers for every day. So that took me maybe a day and a half to kind of collect that all. That was back in mid-March, so I guess three weeks ago now. But notice that my most recent video on COVID-19, so it has 13,000 likes. I mean, it doesn't really matter how many likes it has. However many people on the internet want to know about this stuff, it's fine, whatever. But on Reddit, if you go to the subreddit r slash data is beautiful right now, the top two posts have a combined 160,000 likes, if you can see them in the corner here. So this one that says, for everyone asks, okay, the first one is the one lower, coronavirus deaths versus other epidemics from day of first death. And um, it's a video, and I know like the software where people that people use to make these, it's called Flourish and people just screen record themselves using Flourish and I've seen a lot of other bar graph race videos also use Flourish. Um, so I was curious like wow this list of diseases looks the same as my list and if you go to the comments that's because their data set is my Google spreadsheet and I think let me try to find it. How far did Where's the data source? Here. Okay, so the original creator, Harry29 Ford, links to a Google Doc, and I'm like, what is that Google Doc? Well, it takes you right back to the same spreadsheet that I own. And you know, that's cool. It's everyone's data, right? I made it public so that people who wanted to work with the data could use it. Um, now, this is a mistake on my part. But that spreadsheet has no mention of my name, anything like associated with me, and it has no link to the original YouTube videos or YouTube channel. So because of my own uh, mistake, none of the people who went to the data source ever knew that I was the one who created it. Basically, it was a dead end if people wanted to kind of find the paper trail. So I don't really know how to feel about this. I just think it's kind of annoying, well, not annoying, but like 87,000 upvotes is kind of like the highest, um, like that's the higher range of scores that things can get on Reddit. Like you rarely see things go above that. And then it happened twice in seven hours. I guess like I could have um, interacted more and said like, hey, this is my data set, but I didn't really feel like it. Uh, so this, I don't know, I'm not really complaining. I think it's good that people are using my data set to create graphs, but I kind of just wish that in the sources, they hadn't just posted a link to the spreadsheet. They had like said source, um, I don't know, Kerry Huang's aggregated data set. And like, since my data set has like hundreds of links to all the news articles where those numbers came from, then that would uh, like go to all the primary sources directly. Now there's a lot of people in the comments of those Reddit posts criticizing the data source, essentially saying, like, oh, why do some of them start at zero if all of them are supposed to be from day of first death? Um, I think, does that happen here? Yeah, see, some of them start at zero, even though it's day of first death. That's because this is not correct. 
the data set is calibrated to the first day that a news article reported about it, or if it was a very sparsely a sparse data set, um, sometimes they would say the pandemic or the epidemic was through the years of 2017 and 2018. And in that case, all I could really say was, well, I guess it started on January 1st, 2018. Um, because at that point, what else am I going to pick? And then I used like a, a smooth cos or smooth logistic curve or linear interpolation. Like, I don't know. It was very sparse. That's all I'll say. But when it comes to the criticisms on the Reddit post, I don't really know if I should personally respond because all the criticisms and shortfallings that they point out are my doing. So this Reddit user, Harry29 Ford, wouldn't know what I did to make the like to, to create those numbers. But at the same time, I have like I've been nowhere to be found on those Reddit posts. I'm not responding to all these comments and I don't feel like I need to because it's not my Reddit post. I didn't like ask it to be there. Like I'm cool with it being there, but I don't think it's my obligation to correct everything. With that being said, I know it is my obligation to make sure that these data set like at least my spreadsheet has the correct citations and all that. Um, but I guess overall, this is just a lesson that, um, you know, the more people who try to create a thing, the more likely one of those people is to get to the front page of Reddit or anywhere online. And so, you know, your personal chance of getting there is less. I guess just that's, that's the rule of competition. So, you know, compare the 160,000 upvotes with the 13,000 on mine. And, like, I guess, you know, the fact that there are so many people making these videos at once is a good thing because it means more people can experiment with more ways of displaying the data. So I used a moving line graph. So, you know, um, every disease is, is shown with a line. And the reason I chose that is because if you have a line graph, you can see the way that the curves like have like upward concavity or downward concavity. You can like see the time-wise, the temporal story of the disease. Whereas with the bar graph race, you can only really tell what's going on in the present. And the only way you get that like temporal information is just by watching it over time. And I know that bar graph races on YouTube are like have been doing well lately. So I guess there's something about seeing bars racing between each other that is more compelling to the eye than a line graph. So maybe this is all like a giant pseudo, not pseudo, a giant scientific study that pretty much says that for an average viewer, bar graph races are more interesting to watch than line graphs. And that could explain why this Reddit post or these Reddit posts did so much better than my video. Um, so what does that mean going forward? Well, I did say I wanted to make an update video to my data set. Actually, I wonder if their video um, includes more recent. Yeah, it does include more recent information. So my spreadsheet, since I haven't updated it since April 1st, if you go to COVID-19, the death count is only going to go up to 47,000, which it should like, that's old data. It should go up until 95,000. So I'll update it. I don't know, should I try to upload a bar graph video myself and pretty much just create a clone of theirs, even though I have my, like my own code to create a bar graph so that it's like smoother and, and like, I have my own bar graph style, but it would feel like I'm just copying or jumping on the trends. Or should I, what's the word, hamper down, not hamper down, buckle down and just make more line graph updates because that's what I, well, that's what my code already does. I don't really know. Um, I think, I think it's, it's good to try new things and it's good to see other, what other people are trying so you can tell if something works without having to do it yourself. Um, so I might try the bar graph thing, but I think, you know, lesson learned, put my name on everything that I do. And also when it comes to like the raw data itself, no one owns it. So maybe I should like, well, I will put my name on like the Google Sheets, but like you can't put your name on the numbers and like people, the numbers are what people will take to make the bar graph. So I don't know. Um, it just seems weird that like this is the third like incident of something like this happening where I make a COVID-19 video, someone else 
uploads some variant of it somewhere else and then it goes way more popular than mine did because you know that happened a month ago on tiktok right so my first covid video from february 12th um like it got three million views and then on tiktok someone just stole a, a minute long clip from it and then that got six million views and then i made a video like saying oh tiktok's dumb but i like this is different because this person actually went through the effort of like loading flourish putting the data set and recording it so i think it's a little different and this person this person's work has more justification for staying online but it does kind of feel like a repeat of that and i i feel like you know i i feel like i'm kind of the putting in all the grunt work to create all these numbers and then like other people are using them which is like cool but you know i i guess i get i gotta work smarter not harder and i've been working really hard i, I feel like i can say that because i've been running like four youtube channels like you know i feel like this quarantine time has been the busiest time for me ever like youtube wise oh, ugh, because like i feel so much obligation to keep all four channels active um so like it almost feels like this quarantine okay you know i'm not going to complain I, I like how things are going but um lesson learned okay I, i'm just rambling at this point it's going on i'm going in circles i'm repeating myself i think i've said all i need to say um i'll probably upload a new covid 19 video in the next day or two uh, no promises i need to upload a new carry cage video i already wrote the script i already coded everything so that that's just down to the animation now. Okay, bye.